Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, so the main protest group I was filming earlier, the, the giant bonfire in K Street, has kind of split apart into a number of different groups. Uh, this is one that members about uh, 75, roughly. Uh, it's making its way through Chinatown right now. Uh, we're right in front of the, or almost in front of the Verizon Center and the Gallery Place Metro Station. Now, what's interesting filming these is that there's a lot of Trump supporters coming out of uh, gala events along the street in this area. And a lot of these protesters aren't happy about that, but they're here. I thought I'd do one last live stream tonight, uh, or go back and do some editing, get some sleep. Uh, maybe be hopping early tomorrow to cover the Women's March. Again, thanks so much if you guys have sucked my live streams today. Uh, I really appreciate you guys uh, taking a look at my stuff. Yeah, I'll be there. All morning at least. Hey, thanks. I appreciate that. I really do. I've been outside for about 14 hours now. They say. If you've been to DC, you might recognize that arch.
Again, this isn't the only march going on right now. Uh, there's a number of others, more or less around the same size, uh, working their way through different parts of the city. My colleague Ford Fisher, who we also work with and used to share, he's uh, further down, back to the west, uh, back towards M Street and 13th, I think he told me, uh, where he's also covering another protest like this. Guys, uh, if you can explain basically why you're here, yeah, uh, I want to keep moving forward. With Michigan, this. I stand in solidarity with Flint and the Flint water crisis. A year ago, oh, watch out, watch out. A yep. year ago in Flint, they decided to change the water sources to one that was highly corrosive, therefore exposing the lead pipes that had was old infrastructure that had been put in a long time ago. Mm -hmm. They're still suffering. The governor is, is, Rick Snyder is refusing to address the issue. He should be pulled out of office. I am here in solidarity with people from the Flint water crisis. I'm also here for all the people who fear walking out on a daily basis because they may be deported, because they may be subjects of racial hate crimes, because they may be looked at as the, someone big rally over there. Yeah. I am here in solidarity with all the people that couldn't be here. It's important. All right. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Good meeting you. Uh, like you heard, we got a lot of different issues kind of being demonstrated for here. Uh, she was here in support of the clean water and the Flint water crisis. Uh, I've met a lot of people today that have been here for LGBT rights, um, uh, feminist activists, um, people who, um, Black Lives Matter has been here as well. Actually, some of the people I was just marching with were chanting Black Lives Matter uh, before I went live. So, see a lot of people in suits and uniforms here. I think it's an inauguration ball of some kind. So I kind of lost the people I was marching with. Hey, uh, I'm right in front of the convention center on Massachusetts Avenue. Just put that into a map and I'll tell you exactly where it is. You can see the crowd marching down there. I'm going to run up a bit and see if we can catch up.
Again, you know, people lining up here for uh, some sort of inauguration event at the convention center. Got a lot of police guarding uh, the entry points to these inauguration events. So it looks like what I was following is kind of dispersed uh, or just kind of split into a few separate groups. Uh, so I'm gonna be walking around for a while, see what I find, uh, and I'll let you guys know. Again, my name is Alejandro Alvarez. Uh, you can find me on Twitter and Periscope. At Ale Tweets News, A L E Tweets News. All right. See you guys again soon. And by the way, I will be live definitely tomorrow morning, nice and early, from the Women's March. And that's bound to be very interesting and potentially record setting and historic. All right. Have a good night, guys.